Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know me, know me. You know me. Talking about some crazy retail stories that I have to tell you and trust me retail is crazy so many insane things happen there's weird people there's weird people okay the guy who wanted to die so everyone was working it was a normal day pretty busy and all of a sudden I hear and everyone else in the store hears this guy yelling on the top of his lungs he's like I wanna die I wanna die and once he yelled that, the whole store got silent. And this is a big store. For the guy who was with me at my cash register, he was like, well, that's weird. And he had on these like massive headphones. I don't know if it was a song he was listening to, but he was just yelling, I want to kill myself, I want to die. He ended up laying on the floor. I want to die, I want to die. The general manager came and he had the guy had to be escorted out of our store. Number two, the toddler thief. There was this little kid, about two years old. He took this car. Or you're not supposed to go out of the indoor. Anyone who leaves the store is supposed to go out by the cashiers and then leave the store. But this little kid went under the little door thing and wanted to go outside through the indoor, stealing this toy. And it was just so funny because our general manager was standing there and he was like, come here, come here. And the kid was not coming there. He was like, my my toy eventually the kid came and then the manager was talking to the kid i don't know what happened after that but apparently they found the kid's parents number three drunk old men there were two men with me one of them was buying a bunch of these products and both of them were clearly intoxicated the man who was buying the products he was giving me his products and i scanned all of them and he was like Can't, did you also get this one and i was like yeah i scanned all the products you just have to pay now and then he was like, okay, okay. And then he started looking in his wallet for money. And he's like, oh, but did, did you um, scan all the products? And I was like, yeah, I scanned all the products. Now you just have to pay. What are you going to be paying by, cash or card? He kept on repeating the same thing over and over again. And his friend wasn't helping. His friend was just like, oh, he's had a couple of beers. And I was like, okay. His friend was like, you need to pay now. I was laughing. I was like, this is great. I don't have to take new customers. I can just stay with these guys. Eventually he ended up paying and they left. Number four, my husband died, give me a refund. So there was this lady, she was pretty old. She wanted to return a product that was broken. I told her, sorry, I can't do anything about it. You can only exchange it. And her excuse to me was, my husband just died give me a break and i was like yeah i'm sorry that your husband died but you know it's still the store policy your dead husband doesn't give you an excuse to get a refund like i'm sorry for your loss but i still can't do the refund five the druggie who came after my face there was this lady being super loud in the line and i was hoping i was like i don't want to get her at my register but i got her at my register she was just in a hurry i couldn't go any faster like i was doing my best she was like shove it in the bag and she took the products and she shoved them in the bag i was like whoa 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 before she left she's like she spends more time doing her makeup than actually working here she yelled it out and everyone in the line heard the next person who came to my cash register, he's like, he was like, oh, well, she's had a rough day out. Number six, oil spill. I was putting stuff back in my cart. Usually when the store is closing, we used to do this thing where we, people didn't want to buy stuff. We put them back where they're supposed to go. I was rolling my cart with a bunch of stuff in it. I had this can at the bottom full of oil and it was sideways. And as I was walking, I noticed behind me, there was a trail of oil. Hmm. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know who spilled that. And I just ignored it. So I kept on walking. And then my coworker came up to me and he was like, there's oil. I was like, and then I noticed and it was, it was dripping. I obviously fixed it. And there was oil everywhere that I walked. Nobody found out that it was my fault. Oil is slippery. Someone could sue the store. They had to put dirt all over the oil, literal dirt. Our store also sold dirt. My bad. Number seven, the cash register outside. So me and my coworkers, we were like working, you know, normal day. And then we see this man casually just slowly taking his car outside thinking we weren't going to see that. 
my coworker noticed that and she was like, um, sir, you have to pay. And he was like, oh, oh, you're here? Oh, I did, I thought the cash register was outside. And we were like, his excuse was, I thought the cash register was outside. That's basically it guys for the stories of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!